Subtracting solids. We can remove volume from one solid from the other. So I got a box here and I'm going to go and make a cylinder. And I'm going to place it in the center. And I'm going to make it, oh, 1.5. And, you know, I could go all the way up or all the way down. I'm going to just go all the way down. And you can see here, I extended it all the way through the object. And so now it's running through the object. So when I pick on this object here, you can see there's one object here and one object here. Okay? Doesn't matter how far it goes down because I'm going to subtract it. I'm going to do that by going up into the solid editing panel. I'm going to select on subtract. It'll ask me to select the object. I'm going to pick the object in which you're going to subtract from first. So I'm going to subtract from the box first. I'm going to hit enter until I'm done selecting the objects. Then I'm going to select the objects in which I'm going to subtract. So I'm going to pick away the cylinder. And when I pick away the cylinder, then I get a drill hole through here. So now you can see that I have a drill hole through there. Okay, so subtracting is you pick the objects you want to pick from first and then the, the things you want to subtract. So let's do that one more time. Let's make a cylinder. Let's just place it right here. All right. Um, well, let's place it right in the corner. Okay, I'm going to then make it out here. I'm going to bring it down. Now I'm going to come over here and say I want to do a subtract. I'm going to select the things I want to subtract from, which is the box. I'm going to hit enter. Then I'm going to subtract this cylinder away from it. And when, when I'm done, I'm going to hit enter. And it'll subtract that out. And it'll take that corner out. So subtracting solids um, is, is a great way to, for example, make drill holes or grooves or... Um, uh, slots, things of that nature, uh, but any time we can make something by removing material out like a, like a machining operation type thing is a great way to do subtracting. So uh, we will use subtracting solids a lot to make composite models.